Jamishka here, and I'm going to show you what neat code is and all about it. Okay, so in Scratch, we have a basic program here, and I'm just going to show you under this one script. We got all of these lined up here, and uh, they're kind of hard to see some of them, so what you can do is press right click, clean up, and it puts them in this nice grid format. It's very helpful. If you have tons of scripts, it can be really helpful too. So that's kind of what tidy code looks like in Scratch, and you can also add comments around to uh, describe the area. Now how about in programming? Okay, so here we go in processing. This is code that is not very neat at all. You can see that all of these functions are on one line and it's hard and kind of hard to read. There are no spaces in any of these equal signs. So uh, let's fix that now. So first of all, let's just make it like we've been, been doing in the previous tutorials by adding spaces on each side of the equal sign. I like to do this for all math symbols. Also, let's put an enter. Uh, let's put an enter right here. And then one right here. And then one right here. Okay. And then fix this one up like this and like this and uh, there. So this is pretty neat right here how it is. But since we got all of these values up here, and it's kind of like a wave like this, uh, one thing that's nice is you take the longest one and you make sure that there's, so there's one space right here, so if we do two spaces, you can see by pressing arrow keys, one, two, to the gravity, and then just adding spaces until they line up with the longest one. It makes them look so much neater. And you can do this with, uh, you don't always have to do it with equal signs, but it looks so much neater. And then if you add like two on this side, like so, you can see how much neater that looks. Yeah, and if you have arrays, then you can also do neat things with those. Um, for example, let's do a, a char list or things equal we got like this so um actually i'm going to change this list for example say we want a string string of things so then we have our name or we can call this uh, string uh, setup for example and we put our name name here then we have age and then we have favorite number just for an example now this isn't the best way to do this but uh, then we have uh, person one you can put numbers at the end of a variable but not at the beginning just by the ways okay so now you can see these already aren't lining up so uh, two spaces after the longest one which is person one and then line this up like this put uh, another space behind there okay now we can put the name of person one which will be me Fifteen currently will be sixteen very soon. Okay, and then here, I don't know what my favorite number is. Lucky eight. <laughs> okay, so then what you can do is you can put like two spaces, two spaces. These line up. Then bring the comma to line up. Put a space after it like this. Now these line up. Oops, like this, these commas line up, put an extra space, and then put these all the way back here, like so. That's pretty organized. You can see that it kind of has columns, and that looks nice. Okay, <clears throat> another example, I like to have um, a space at the beginning and the end right here, like this, and uh, also spaces like separating variable groups, like see if these all for the same type of thing and these were for the same type of thing, and these were for the same type of thing. Then they'd say group together. And then, 
and also like if this is for drawing and then I can have one for like setting something up so here we go Let's make this neater also after commas I like to put a space so boom 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 it looks neater and uh, when you have a one about this long I'd like to put a uh, like if you have parentheses with stuff in it that's about this long I could put a space at the beginning and the end also let's just say I take a uh, variable down here like the x velocity thing and then add something to it put it in parentheses so let's do y velocity divided I'm just gonna do some random math functions right here This does not mean anything. I'm just making sure that there are a lot of parentheses so I can give you an example. Okay, so now that I have a fair amount of uh, stuff here, I'm going to add spaces between these. And since this is a pretty long parentheses, I'm going to put like two spaces on the ends of it. And then I'm going to, but since this entire line, I might put three just to look better and then put two on this one. Now you can kind of see how that makes it much neater and put a space on each side of this. And you can just see that the white space makes it look nicer. And the white space doesn't change the code at all, which is nice. It just makes it look neat. So that is how you do neat stuff in processing. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys next time.